Anthony's recent video on the usage of the insult or term hipster has me, in a sense, disagreeing. Now, Anthony, um, I do agree with your sentiment that people should not be judged entirely based on the music they listen to or the clothes they wear or the color of their skin and so on. They shouldn't be judged by where they're from. Um, they should be judged by how they do things, how they interpret things, how they express these interpretations, what they do with these interpretations, how they live their life, what they do with that life in relation to you and others. Judging others is in and of itself a negative thing, but you can obviously understand why certain people do it because if you do a certain thing that I dislike, I, that I do not appreciate, that I do not consider in any sense relevant to me or beneficial to me, then I don't want to be surrounded by you or those like you. Now I do agree that we should all prance in the meadows together, hold hands, sing kumbaya, and enjoy life and make this planet a better place to live. But I'm also practical and understand that something like that doesn't happen overnight. And that you don't like people, it happens, and people don't like you, it happens, and you know what? You can't live your life assuming that you're going to please everyone, or rather that you can please everyone, or that everyone can please you even. So with that being said, whenever people have this mindset that they want to label you based off of certain things you wear, certain things you do, or certain things you listen to, and as a musician myself, certain things I listen to, obviously that applies to me more so than the clothes I wear. I slap on clothes, don't give a fuck, you don't like what I wear, that doesn't change anything about me at all. Point being, I don't, I have certain things affect me more so than others, and that, that is the same with every other person on the planet. So whenever someone comes to me and they ever tell me that I may have a certain hipster attitude, because I have been called that before, I tell them that, look, the way I use hipster, and I do only use it in a derogatory sense because I do think of the word as an insult, I do think of the word as something negative, I do not describe a class of people who only wear 1950s lensless glasses, striped clothes, plaid, and fucking $50 shoes that'll last for three weeks. Hipster to me is a term that is only used specifically for certain types of people, specifically people who like the arts, music, film, and paintings, and so on and so forth, who do not want to share or express certain likings for certain individuals or styles only because they don't want other people knowing about it, because more often than not, the only reason why they like these certain styles or certain artists or certain types of songs, even albums, is because not many other people know about them. Now, that to me and my peers is what I associate and we associate with hipster. It is a negative connotation. It is derogatory. And it is intended to be that way. And that is how I've always seen it used. Now, I do often see people who are classified as hipsters get made fun of, but it, more often than not, at least the hipsters I've met tend to be pretty cool people who are not stingy with their music like that. They just listen to a certain kind of modern hippie music, and I don't really care because, hey, I like that shit too. So essentially, whenever someone comes up to me and says, hey, you know what, you're a hipster or you're a little bit hipster, I tell them to go fuck themselves because no matter what music I listen to, no matter how underground it may be, I will talk to you about it. I will express it to you so much that you don't want to listen to it. And, and I tend to do that, and that makes me feel bad, really. Because whenever I listen to an artist, and I like an artist a lot, then I want other people to listen to that artist too, because that is important to me. That if you can at least enjoy what I enjoy, then I feel like we can have some sort of bond. Then I feel like I've shared something with you, and that makes makes me happy, especially since I seek enjoyment out of music. It fulfills me, and when I find fulfillment in a band or an artist or hell, even in a painting, I want to express that because look, this fulfills me, maybe it can fulfill you. Whenever someone calls me a hipster, it doesn't bother me, yet. but I do agree that that mindset that you're just going to judge one person based off of a misunderstanding of their taste culturally is a bit nonsensical, it is a bit stupid, I do agree, it is ignorant. But it is very uniquely American in a lot of respects. Um, it definitely fits in with the gossip culture that a lot of Americans subscribe to. With that being said, I don't have much to add to this issue. Um, I do feel like that is very simple. Um, how to approach these kind of people, you can just tell them to go fuck themselves, or you can tell them, hey, look, I listen to this. If you don't like it, I don't care. You know, most people who are hipsters, at least in my eyes, are the kind of people who um, revel in the quantity of the music they like. You know, oh, well, I have two five terabyte hard drives filled with music. I have so many artists that I listen to, so many styles that I listen to. You know, that kind of pretentious attitude when coming across, coming across any form of medium, and you tend to have that in artistic circles, then, yeah, I do consider that to be negative. 
kind of hipster, but not necessarily, because if they're willing to share that with you, or even tell you, hey, I have this much music, but I never really listen to it, I only listen to 10 songs at a time, to me, that isn't hipster. To me, that is just, you are desynthesizing yourself to good tunes. Shit happens with the internet. So I don't ramble on anymore. Basically, I'm going to be ending this video here on a few notes. One, always remember that words change. The use of a word change. Take the example of a fag. Fag has many different uses in many different parts of the country and in different parts of the world. In some parts of the world, it means a bundle of sticks. In some parts of the world, it means a cigarette. In some parts of the world, it is a derogatory term towards stupid people or gay people. Two, if people are going to use this derogatory term towards you or others, I suggest you say something to them. I suggest you call them out on it. I suggest you say, hey, you know what? Well, why is this? Why does it matter to you what they listen to? Why does it matter to you why you know wh how they handle their music. If you can have a good musical conversation with them, by all means. Three, if you try and have that good musical conversation or you do bring that conversation about between the two people who are having an issue and that one person that is being called a hipster happens to be a pretentious asshole that you don't want to deal with in the first place, that doesn't want to tell you anything, or tells you the wrong names even to an artist they listen to so that you don't find them or listen to them, then yeah, they can go fuck themselves. They're hipster bitches. It's that simple. I do understand that, that is kind of a divisive tone, but look, the only way you're going to make sure these people actually understand the fault of their own ways is if you don't let them revel in the fact that they're holding something over you. The only way you can do it is to best them, to know more than them, to show them what's up, and then, after doing that, say, hey, look, and the reason why I'm telling you this shit is because I like sharing the music I listen to. Or, ignore them, because a lot of them are attention-seeking whores anyway. That is a generalization, I understand, and keeping that in mind, I know that this is only a minority of a, of a group of people called hipsters. I know that this is a minority of a group of people who even act like this, because a lot of people just do this automatically. Like, look, I don't want people to oversaturate this really good artist, so I don't want to express it that much. I get it. I understand. I come, I come surrounded by a lot of musicians and stuff like that very often. I like surrounding myself with those kind of people, so I understand the concerns that a lot of musicians have in terms of the quality of their music, because they don't want to be overblown by a bunch of pig-headed fucks who only do it because everyone else do it, does it, or only does it because, hey, I heard this catchy hook on the radio, and, and now I'm going to listen to it 20 times every 20 fucking minutes, and then be done. Point being, though, is that it is no excuse to have a small-minded or pigeonholed view of how people approach their art. It's their own personal taste. That's what matters. That's what's important. Peace.